Wheels with Wandra from Snell Motors on the corner of Madison Avenue and Highway 22 in Mankato. Good morning, Jeff. Good morning. Uh, so today we're talking about the rubber on the road, the tires. Where are we going with the tire <laughs> discussion today? The tires, yes. It's starting to get a little colder and people start thinking about them. They're snowflakes. So I'm going to talk about the different kinds of tires that a person can have. <clears throat> So the first one I'm going to talk about is the winter tires. Uh, what are winter tires exactly? You know, what's the difference between all these different tires and when can I run them and why should I get them? So a winter tire is is literally made of different rubber than the other tires. It's going to be a really <clears throat> soft tire. And what that does is with a very soft tire, it's going to grip the road a lot better. Now, if you have uh, a, a much more firm rubber on the tire, when it gets really, really cold out, it basically becomes a brick. And just think about like on the hockey rink, for example, if you've got a really soft rubber shoe, the traction you'll have versus having like a rock hard frozen shoe, it's just going to slide across the entire rink. Similar with the traction in the winter time. So with that uh, winter tire being extremely soft, you're going to have the best braking. So the best start and stop you can possibly get with your vehicle with those tires. But the catch is you can't run it. I would say over freezing, so over 32. I think they're good up to 40, 45 degrees, but I don't put mine on my car until it's below freezing just to be safe because being that they are so soft, in a warm driving environment, it just chews them up, and they last one-tenth as long because the heat on that road just basically melts them away. So let's say you are running a winter tire. Then to go to the opposite side of the spectrum, there's a summer tire. And the summer tire is going to provide the best grip handling, braking performance when temp- temperatures get above 45 degrees. Not 80, 90, but 45. I know summer and 45 degrees, that makes sense for Minnesota. Yeah, it depends. Yeah, it could happen. So that's going to be <clears throat> the absolute best thing you can have for above 45. And the previous tire was the absolute best thing for, for below 45. And then there's the all-season tires. The all-season tires are going to be kind of the best of, of everything. So if you want to run two tires, if you want to do a summer and a winter, it's going to be it's going to be the safest and the best driving experience. But if you don't want to buy two sets of tires cuz tires are expensive, mm-hmm. then you can do the all season. You'll find that most vehicles come with the all season cuz it's kind of like it's not a 10 out of 10 in the winter or the summer, but it's a, you know, 7 or 8. So it's it's pretty good. It's the best you're going to get. So it doesn't get too hard in the winter time. It doesn't say too, you know, uh, excuse me, hard in the summertime for that performance type of driving, but It'll get you around. It'll do just fine. Now, some people look at the, their tire to determine how much air to put in there. So when you run over to uh, your local gas station and because you see your tire's low, you look at the tire and you see, okay, 45. All right, I'll put 45 pounds in there. The, the number that you see on the side of your tire is actually the maximum amount of air that tire can hold. So putting, you know, accidentally a little more, uh, bad things can happen. <laughs> Definitely don't want to exceed that number. Now, how do I know how much air to put in the tire besides calling my local mechanic? Just simply open your driver door, and there will be a placard on there. That placard will tell you the recommended PSI for not only the front tires and the rear tires, but the spare tire. Interesting. Because a lot of these vehicles will recommend you know, 30, 32, 33, 35, anywhere in that range, typically. Uh, and then the spares are usually at about 60. So a huge, huge difference. Most people don't know that. So just take a look at that placard. It's pretty interesting. Now... Um, with the tire itself, there's going to be a TPC code on that tire. So tire manufacturers specifically design tires specifically for a 2015 Buick Regal Turbo or a 2016 GMC Sierra Crew Cab. I mean, the tire with that TPC code is built for that vehicle to a T. So you want to stick with that TPC code. A lot of different tire manufacturers make that same tire. Now, with that proper inflation, um, let's just say that you overinflate your tires. When you overinflate your tires, it's going to put more pressure on the middle of the tire on the road. And over a week, it's not going to really do anything. But over months, you'll notice that the middle of your tire starts to wear a lot faster than the outside. And the opposite is going to happen if you underinflate. So if you run your tires too low because you like that soft and cushy ride, uh, you're going to wear out the outside of your tires faster than the inside. So you, let's just say that you, you pay 800 to to $1,000 for a set of tires on your pickup truck or large SUV, and you don't properly inflate them just because of ignorance. You didn't know. And they last 20,000 miles instead of 60, 70, 80,000 miles. So you're going to put on $3,000 in, in tires in the same time that somebody just simply puts in the right PSI for 1000 So you're going to pay three times as much for tires than somebody that just puts the right air in there. It's kind of crazy. Now, another thing you want to pay attention to is 
if your alignment's off at all, if you have any suspension issues in the front and it's like, ah, eh, got 100,000 miles on the thing, I don't want to do anything to it, it can really affect your tires. And most of the time you won't notice it until the mechanic puts it up on the hoist. And I don't see it on the outside as much as I do on the inside of tires. And uh, just yesterday I was uh, looking at a gentleman's vehicle and the outside of the tires were, were measuring at about 7, 30 seconds. Tires are fine. But the inside, there was wires showing. Jeez. So at that point, there could be a, a blowout on the highway. Could you get a big hole in your tire and be like, how does that work? I, there's, I can feel the tread. There's a ton of tread there yet. But being that that suspension has been off for months and months and months, it's worn the inside of the tires down. So that's going to be, let's say, 50, 40, 30,000, thousand miles worth of driving that that person's not going to have. They're going to need tires today. But if that suspension was taken care of, let's just say it was two hundred dollars to fix the suspension, and it saves you tires, you know, or it makes your tires last three times as long. Those are those things you just want to pay attention to, and it's not to scare you, just to make you aware. Inflation, suspension—I mean, that's a huge amount of money that you can save by just making sure those things are correct. Now, <clears throat> last thing is going to be when do I get tires? I talked about seven thirty seconds. That's the measurement on the tread. You can get a tread depth gauge. I'm, I'm assuming at your local parts store or online for like two bucks. So I, I recommend getting one of those or just stopping into Snell Motors and we can measure them for you. But once you get uh, most of those tire gauges will be green for good, yellow for think about it, red for put some tires on today. Uh, and that usually starts around that 430 seconds is where you're still safe. But if you're coming up to winter at four, you probably want to get some rubber on there before you come into the winter time. So when it comes to the thing that connects your vehicle and your family to the road, tires it's probably something you don't want to go cheap on so just remember that and if you take a look at your options the least expensive tire is almost always not your best option Uh, but there's always all sorts of coupons and rebates and things with the tires so stop into snell motors whenever it's uh, convenient talk to our tire specialist and then give you a rundown of what's best and uh, take a look at your tires on your vehicle today good topic good information but you use the word winter way too many times so we have to let you go Sorry. <laughs> See ya. Jeff Wandra with us today from Snell Motors. Wheels with Wandra on Minnesota 93. You know what's super great about 93?